Hey guys, uh, happy February 13th. Uh, you're, you're here, you did it, you made it. It's the 13th. Um, that's kind of half because there's only 28 days in February, right? There were 30 of the half would be fi the 15th. So it's the 13th. So yeah, I mean like that, that works. Um, I encourage you to read all of chapter 13 today. It's, there's a lot and it's a really good chapter. Um, we're going to take a look at two verses, uh, just like we did kind of yesterday with the 12th. Um, we're going to be looking at, uh, verse nine and verse 16, but all of the verses are really good. So starting in verse, uh, nine, 13, nine says the life of the godly is full of light and joy. But the sinner's light is snuffed out. And and we've kind of talked about this previously. Like, hey, choices are going to have consequences, right? And we got to think about our thoughts and our choices. And we need people in our corner. We need to, you know, join a, the physical body of a church or a small group and find people who are holding us accountable and praying with us because leaving our sinful past and our bad habits and entering God's kingdom is like walking out of darkness and into a light or into a great light. Those of us who enter the light see our need for help and a reality of a loving God who wants to help us. When we come into the light of God's kingdom, we can no longer hide our deeds in the darkness. The light of God's truth will cause us to see the truth. Then we can honestly deal with the sins that the light has exposed. Verse 9, the life of the godly is full of light and joy. But the sinner's light is snuffed out. And so as you are deciding, hey, how am I going to react to this situation at work? How am I going to react to what my wife just said? Or how am I going to react to that mean kid at school or that mean kid in my class? Whatever your situation is, is that reaction going to be sinful? The words you're about to use, what you're about to do, is it, what are those consequences going to be? And you know the truth of God's love and are your actions and your attitudes and what you're about to do or say, is that reflecting God's love, right? We need to think before we do things. And that's what our next verse talks about in verse 16 says, wise people think before they act. Wise people think before they act. Fools don't and they even brag about it. So this verse reminds us, that it is wise to process our thoughts and process our feelings before we act. Acting purely on impulse can get us in trouble. Anyone been there? Acting on impulse and then you get in trouble, it's a bad consequence. Yeah, right? Can get us in trouble. We may give into impulses that make us feel good at that moment, but then we immediately regret it later or we immediately feel guilty later. And feeling guilty, it's not a great feeling. But when it feels good at the moment, it can undermine our long-term health and well-being and our long-term spiritual health and well-being. So ask God to guard your mind. Ask God to guard your thoughts and help you think before you act. Well, one of your great actions is walking through the Bible daily, whether that's the Proverbs here, or maybe you have your own devotional, or maybe you're doing the Proverbs with me and doing something else. That is great for your thought process. It's sticking in the word and feeding your mind and feeding your thoughts with the goodness and the glory and the truth of God and the gospel. That's the right action to take. Well, thanks so much for joining us, us, well, me and, you know, God and his word. Thank you for joining me uh, today, and I hope you have a great day, and see you tomorrow on the 14th.